Start off a fresh year with Fright, what's inside the newest Horror Pack subscription service. Well, we did it. We survived 2020, and now 2020 is a thing of the past, and we can now look into 2021, which, admittingly, yes, 2021 hasn't started the best overall, but we still have an entire year to improve and turn things around. It's never too late, of course, to continue the trend you may do annually of coming up with a New Year's resolution. And if your New Year's resolution this year is that you want to get in more horror flicks, Perhaps the Horror Pack subscription service would be the ideal subscription box or bag for you. Because every single month, Horror Pack delivers you a selection of four titles, either in the DVD format or the Blu-ray. Nonetheless, you get four titles delivered to your door. That sounds tantalizing, doesn't it? If you are somebody that likes to sit on the sideline for the time being, just not sure really if this is something you want to get into for 2021, let this bag be the thing I'm opening up and be the example to you of why you would want to subscribe to the Horror Pack. Nonetheless, we're going to go ahead and get this opened up. I think for this, we're going to start the new year off right. I'm going to use old red here. I'm going to go ahead and cut the, just cut the bag on the back there. I guess I could have technically cut it from the front, but... Instead, I'm going to cut it from the back, and we're, one at a time, one at a time, we're going to pull out each title, and we're going to talk about it, share stories if we can around the campfire. And if you have seen the movie for yourself, let me know down in the comments section if the movie's any good. Let's go ahead. I went for a dramatic pause, but let's go ahead. The first one is Blood Feast. No idea. Nothing so appalling in the animals of horror, or the annals of horror, since the original. This is Blood Feast, based on the horror classic by director Herschel Gordon Lewis. Stars Robert, I guess it's Rustler, Sophie Monk, Caroline Williams, and Sa Sadie. Is it Sadie or Sadie? I'm going to go ahead and assume it's Sadie. Sadie Katz. On the back, the read-up, very hard to read, says, Is it Fouad Ramses and his family have moved from the United States to France? where they run an American diner. Since business has not gone well, Fouad, let's just look at that name for a second. F-U-A-D. Is it Fouad? Fouad. We're going to go with Fouad. Fouad also works uh, night shifts at the Museum of Ancient Egyptian Culture. During these long, lonely nights, he's repeatedly drawn to a statue representing the seductive ancient goddess of Ishtar. He becomes more and more lured by the goddess as she speaks to him in visions. Eventually, he succumbs to her deadly charms. After his pivotal fight, Fouad begins a new life in which murder and cannibalism, oh, that sounds tempting, become his daily bread. He starts to prepare a ritual feast to honor his new mistress, a lavish affair dripping with blood, organs, and intestines of human victims. As these butchered bodies are heaped up upon the altar of Ishtar, Fouad slowly slips further into madness. It's funny that he would now only slip further into madness. You would almost assume that his madness started pretty early into the game. Uh, until he, uh, he is no more than the goddess's puppet. And she thirsts for the blood of Fouad's wife and daughter too. Interesting. Uh, theatrical trailer. S still, still gallery. And behind the scenes all make up the DVD special features, even though technically this is a Blu-ray. Uh, the runtime on this is 96 minutes, and it was released in 2017. Any takers? Anybody? Anybody see this movie? Anybody see Blood Feast? Let me know down below in the comments section. I assure you, though, there's more. There's another three titles to go through. The next title we're going to go pull out is A Cadaver Christmas, a Horror Pack Limited Edition Blu-ray. Flip around on the back. A very simple read-up. First of all, it says a cadaver Christmas delivers dark holiday laughs. That says Fangoria. When a dark force takes over the morgue during the Christmas holiday, a ragtag band of heroes has to save humanity from the growing army of the walking dead. It doesn't actually say, it just says down below, God blesses everyone. It doesn't say when it was actually released. So I have actually no idea. I realized I've said actually probably several times already, but I don't have any idea. No idea when this was released. Anybody have any ideas? Let me know. 
Moving on to the next title. Next one we have is Conjuring 2. The next story from the case files of Ed and Lorraine Warren. Now, I have Conjuring 2, but I don't recall this case cover. And I'm all about, sometimes I pick up multiple titles of the same movie, if the covers are the exact same, or covers, I should say, are a little bit different, or they have different special features. Do you do that as well? On the back, I might also just say, too, I've asked this question probably several times already, what your favorite Conjuring movie, universe movie is. And usually a lot of times I always settle on Conjuring 2. I really, really like Conjuring 2. Uh, reprising their roles from The Conjuring, Oscar nominee Vera Firminga, Firmiga and Patrick Wilson stars Lorraine and Ed Warren, who helped a single mother raising four children alone in a house plagued by malicious spirits known as England's Amityville. The Enfield haunting was the most documented case in paranormal uh, history, discovered the truth behind the event that shocked the world. Special features include the Enfield poltergeist, living the horror, explore the true story from the people who experienced it, crafting the Conjuring 2, an exclusive behind-the-scenes look at how the scares were created. Cast and crew members talk about how they were raised the bar for the sequel, also includes deleted scenes, and so much more. Release date on this one, if I can see if I can find it, well, it's 134 minutes, and it's not a very old movie, although I think it I say it's not very old, but let's see if we can actually find the release date on 2016. I guess that's five years old. Anybody seen The Conjuring 2? It is by far my favorite of the Conjuring Universe movies. And last but certainly not least, what is this? We've got Raven Banner releasing Presents. Presents what? I see a family. I see a son in the middle, but I don't see what the... Oh, is it called... It's called Z. Oh, Z. I had no idea that that was actually a title that they worked into the artwork. That's pretty clever. On the back, let's have a look here. When Beth's son brings home an imaginary friend named Z, she becomes concerned that he is falling too deep in the world of make-believe. He starts to display extremely destructive behavior, blaming Z for all his actions. But after he's kicked out of school, Beth is forced to find a solution. She medicates her son, making him unable to see his imaginary companion. But now Beth sees Z, and now he wants to be your friend. Now, I'm calling it Z because I'm assuming it's an American-made movie. Here in Canada, we would call it Z. Bonus features include director's commentary behind the scenes, deleted scenes, featurettes, the creeping creepy kid, the stare scare, train day, music breakdown, v VFX reel, gag reel, and trailer. 83 minutes is your runtime for this. And I am looking at 2019 for its release. Never seen it. Maybe I perhaps will be watching this tonight. But not a bad selection of titles. I have seen one of them, Conjuring 2. I have not seen, however, the other three. Have you seen any of these movies for yourself? Let me know again down below in the comments section which ones you did like. And kind of give me an idea whether it's worth a watch on my end. And of course, if you do want to subscribe to the Horror Pack and not get just the three titles over here, but also The Conjuring 2, it's obviously not going to come with The Conjuring 2, you can subscribe to the Horror Pack by clicking the link down below in the video description. Today we were having a look at the newest Horror Pack subscription service, and the question of today's video is, of all the movies that you can think of, what title would you like to see be pat in the next Horror Pack? It can be really any, any horror movie you'd like within somewhat reason, some of the newest releases or things you've just recently seen, what title would you like to see in a future horror pack? Also, speaking of subscribing to the horror pack, why not subscribe to this channel if you haven't done so already? Reminder as well, you can hit that bell notification to tell YouTube that you want to know when this guy is, com is posting more content. And speaking from a content level, there's definitely going to be a lot more coming your way. So keep your peepers peeled to this channel Monday to Friday, 12 p.m. and 2 p.m. Eastern Standard Time. Lots of stuff coming your way, guys. So as always, thanks for watching, and I'll see you next time.